So along the Atlantic Intercoastal Waterway, we have approximately 12 sites that are uh, shallow spots that impact navigation of recreational vessels and small commercial vessels. So in this project, we uh, considered alternate disposal methods for the uh, dredge material. We're placing about 5,000 yards of the material into the marsh and then about 220,000 yards of material into St. Simon Sound into a naturally scouring deep hole. Or the idea was proposed that we could um, come up with a beneficial use of this dredge material, you know, not only help improve navigation in the area, but also come up with a, a better way to dispose of the dredge material. But it's different because it is a maintenance material that is extremely soft and silty and high liquid. It doesn't like to stay in place. It likes to move especially in the areas where we're doing the thin layer placement, the tides overtop the coconut core logs which hold the material back. The beneficial use of dredge material has happened in other places in the country. We've actually used it in the state of Georgia, but we haven't used it at this scale. Everybody's concerned with sea level rise um, and placing the material in the marsh like this is just one way to combat that issue.